Hey guys, welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. So I haven't done one of these videos in a couple of weeks. As I explained in my last video, I was on vacation and unfortunately I did miss a couple of BIOS updates because I told you I would keep an eye because there were a few missing in the last series I did looking at the new BIOS updates for the AM4 platform. Uh, it was important updates because it was bringing uh, AGESA code uh, 1.0.0.6, which fixes, I would say, from what I've seen in the comments, it's fixing like over 80% of the memory problems that Ryzen was having. So people are finally able to lock in their XMP profiles. Sometimes they have to do it manually, but uh, they are able to lock it in now. So we're here actually on the ASUS site. And uh, the reason I'm coming back to you today with Asus is that the last time we looked at the updates, they were missing on the Crosshair 6 motherboards. And also the BIOS was in a, um, in a beta state. So it, it wasn't the official BIOS, but you could still update it on the lower end boards like the X370 Pro. Uh, good news is that now it's updated across all the Asus AM4 product line, including the Crosshair 6, and it's no longer in beta. So it's an official BIOS update now. So we're gonna go really quickly like last time through uh, where you can find the BIOS update. So I'm actually gonna move myself down here. Okay, so we're gonna go to the product section on the ASUS website. We're gonna choose motherboards and down here, AMD platform. Hold on, give me a sec. We're gonna put myself down here. So we're gonna do that again. So that's products, motherboards, AMD platform. And at this point, what you can do here is you can isolate the chipset. So if we choose AM4, it's gonna show us only the AM4 boards. So we have the Rogue Crosshair 6 Hero right here. X370 Pro, B350, and so forth, okay? Now, if we go to the Crosshair 6, because like I said last time, this was one of the ones that was missing the BIOS update. We're gonna go to the support section here, drivers and tools, and you choose your operating system. So for Windows 10, 64 gigabyte, BIOS, and here we have BIOS update 1403, with AGSA code 1.0.0.6. So I personally have tested out the BIOS update on the X370 Pro, and like I was saying, it has fixed pretty much all my problems with locking in my XMP profile, and I'm using one of the worst scenarios possible, as I mentioned in the other videos, where uh, basically I'm using four DIMM slots, so I'm using four times four gigabytes to get to my 16 gigabytes of memory in my system. And even with that setup, with the new update code, I can lock in the uh, 3000 megahertz that my RAM is specified to. It's actually 2966 on uh, Ryzen, but I can lock it in. We're getting uh, improved performance, improved stability on the memory. So it's really a update that I would recommend. Like I said, I'm a little late because it actually came out on July 5th. I was on vacation, like I said, for a couple of weeks. Came back, I'm sort of catching up on all the stuff that normally I keep an eye on. Uh, so there's actually a couple of other videos coming up very shortly on other updates. Uh, all, MSI as well updated the BIOS finally. It came actually at the end of June. So I actually missed that one right before leaving. So. Like I said, as we did for the other videos, anyone testing it out, working for them, let us know what memory kits the update is now working for, which kits they are maybe not working for. Uh, and as usual, just a disclaimer for anyone who has no, not too much experience, updating your BIOS is a sort of risky procedure. You have to make sure that you're in a stable situation where there shouldn't be a power outage or anything like that, because unfortunately, if you have a system shutdown during the update, uh, yes, you can brick your motherboard, meaning you have to send it back to your manufacturers. It's a hassle. It is covered though, but it is a hassle because you lose your board for like a couple of weeks, the, the flip time for it to go to ASUS and come back. So do be careful when updating your BIOS. If you're not sure how to do it, uh, check other videos online. People are showing how to do it. And that was actually another question I had for you guys. If any of you would like to actually see how to flash a BIOS uh, because you've just never seen it and you can't find it out there, let me know in the comments because it'll, I'll, you know, it'll be a pleasure for me to do it. It might not be with my ASUS board because I actually uh, passed it off to a friend of mine, but I'm gonna be getting in a new ASRock board uh, next week for the Ryzen 3 launch. So if you guys wanna see how to update a motherboard uh, using a, you know, a BIOS flash utility, let me know. I'll see if I can get it done on video for you guys. 
Uh, as usual, I hope you guys appreciated the video. Likes are very uh, appreciated. Subscriptions even more so that I can keep doing these videos and get more products in to actually do uh, you know heavier content with actual products and whatnot. So please uh, you know subscribe and like the video. And as usual, I'll see you guys in the next one.